Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. I have yet to find a text editor that is the text editor to beat all text editors. I mean, none of them are perfect, so I've got to try a lot. I mean, I've been using text editors, well, ever since, you know, I pretty much started using a computer. Of course, there was Edit way back in the days of DOS. Then I started using Jed, EE, Pico um, through a, a university account. I mean, they gave us shell access. Uh, you know, I, I was, you know, playing around with Unix way back in the day. Um, then years later, of course, in, in, in Windows, uh, I would use MetaPad, which is now open source, um, I'm happy to report. There's also PSPad, another great free text editor that I strongly recommend for Windows. On Mac OS X, though, I really haven't found that many that I've been impressed with. Smoltron probably leads the pack. It's free, it's quick, easy to use, not perfect. But uh, really kind of good enough for, for what I need a, a text editor to be. Uh, and I know everybody's got their choices of, of what, you know, a text editor could and should be. But I, I wanted to give you another option here. This is a, a text editor that exists on the web. It's actually a website slash service. Uh, the domain uh, for this particular text editor is not that easy to share. ecoder.gmeditor.com. Again, e coder.gmeditor.com and this quite simply is a web-based text editor and of course they give you requirements like a JavaScript based, based browser and they have keyboard shortcuts too so you can add files folders hidden files file upload refresh save undo blah 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 all the you know basic commands for text editing but what makes this web-based text editor so unique is that when you start using it here, see there's the change log. Let me go and uh, open up this PHP file, this sample file, or this HTML file. And I don't know if you're able to see, and let me find a really good one here. Uh, go into, I'm, I'm trying to find one that's got a lot of code in it. Okay, I may not be able to, I mean, sometimes it depends. So let me just zoom in. This is a JavaScript file. I'm just gonna illustrate it as best I can. It's color coded, so it's got syntax highlighting depending, of course, on what the, uh, uh, the the language is. So this is a PHP syntax highlighting right here. So you can kind of see the different colors. It's nice. So you've got syntax highlighting, uh, no matter, well, I can't say no matter the markup, it just depends on you know if that is supported, like HTML, CSS, um, PHP, you know, the, the, the file formats that you would expect to be supported in syntax highlighting seem to be, oh, CSS as well. Uh, there's a CSS markup right there, uh, which is nice because it, syntax highlighting will help you detect whether you've made a mistake or not, or you've done something that you should not have done. Uh, that's why if you do any type of text editing with any kind of development, it's important that you have syntax highlighting. But sometimes you do not have access to a text editor on somebody else's desktop, or let's say you're working remotely, or someone else's, you know, wherever. You need that feature. You need that functionality in Notepad or text edit or nano just will not suffice. It's time for you to think about using this or just remember it as an alternative. Again, the URL ecoder.gmeditor.com. And I know that uh, despite saying all that, oh, no, look at this, it's even tabbed across the top. So, I mean, you know, it's a, I would say full featured web-based text editor for all intents and purposes. Uh, you can do uh, quite a lot with uh, this kind of uh, editing. A, you know, because this beats the pants off of notepad.exe, at least for, you know, working with HTML, CSS, PHP, so on and so forth. I mean, if it's just text editing that you want, yeah, you could do that too, but you might as well use a desktop app at that point. So there you go. Just another fine resource I wanted to share with the rest of you guys. My email address is chris at perillo.com. Feel free to drop me a line if you know of any other really nifty resource, whether it's for advanced users, basic users, intermediate users, or just people who feel used by the system. <laughs> and if you feel used, uh, you, you might want to stop by a support group of sorts, geeks.perillo.com, celebrating your inner geekitude. Um, you can join us there, embed your YouTube videos, post questions, get answers. You're also welcome to join us in the chat room, uh, so long as it's not moderated, which it was a few minutes ago. A lot of people were kind of you know, wreaking havoc, and so one of our operators said, okay, that's enough, so it became moderated. Oh, there's Pixie, our bot. She's one of our bots, named after my dog, Pixie. Anyway, 
we're typically talking tech, software, hardware, web services, 24 hours a day, seven days a week at live.perillo.com. We'll see you later.